it is December. My plans was to use this old IBM to participate in the December, but it doesn't work. So it needs some repairs. So I need to use an emulator. But for me, the emulation isn't just about how accurate it emulates. It's more about how it makes me feel using it. I want to treat myself. And as I did with the Amiga, I will take this all the way and try to trick my brain into thinking I'm using a real old PC. So my plan is to butcher this uh, AS Rock computer and put it into this old tower. So let's do that. Now this is butchered and I've put the motherboard inside uh, this old tower. It has an external power supply, so it's it's very empty in here. I I bought the HD clicker to get a hard drive sound from this, but the problem is this uh, all-in-one board doesn't have uh, anywhere to connect it. It doesn't have an output for an HD activity LED, so we need to do something clever. If this had been a uh, Raspberry Pi, we could have used the GPIO, but the PC doesn't have that. So what we need to do is to add the GPIO pins to the PC. And let's do that through the very fine Raspberry Pico. This is the Raspberry Pico W. The W stands for wireless, but uh, I, I don't plan to use that in this uh, project. I have flashed the Raspberry Pico with a Pico D daemon uh, that we need to have running on the Raspberry. This uh, allows us to remotely control the GPIO among other functions, but uh, we will only use the GPIO parts in this. So let's first add some pins to connect the cables to. I will connect it to GPI pins number six because that's next to a ground so it makes it easier to solder. Do not use my technique as a how-to on how to soldering. I just uh, I'm just a hobbyist and you can find a lot of good places on YouTube to learn how to solder. Just some quick visuals to see it's okay. This is the HD clicker. It is made to make hard drive sound based on the activity led uh, output from the motherboard but we need to connect it to the Raspberry Pico. So we add a cable from this port and then we connect it to our new port on the Raspberry Pico. Just need to check what is ground and what is, uh, what is plus three volts, I think. So like this, and we can connect the output from the HD clicker to the LED in front, like this. This is the inside of the case, so let's uh, mount everything. It has a floppy drive, but it has nowhere to connect it. So I bought this USB floppy controller, which we can use. PCM support... Uh, directly controlling a floppy drive. Just add the, the device directly in PCM and it should work. This controller also supports uh, giving power to the floppy drive. So let's just connect it to the back of the floppy drive like this and just put the USB cable aside for now.
as this computer don't have an internal power supply we will need this uh, dirty cable which connects to the motherboard and then uh, some multiple I think it's called SATA outputs and we have a converter from SATA to Molex which uh, is what the HD clicker needs I think this will be a good place to mount the HD clicker. I'll just use some Velcro to fit it to the case, like this. And for the Raspberry Pico, we do the same. Add some Velcro and just stick it around there, like this. This is the cable that goes to the front LED for HD activity. So let's just connect that to the HD clicker, which will pass through the signal. The Pico is powered and connected to the computer through USB. So let's add a USB cable and put the way too long cable away. We just put it up here. The computer used to have a USB port in the front, so that is uh, inside now, very handy. So let's just connect this uh, USB hub in that port and Velcro it uh, into the case. I will place it uh, right here. And then just put the cables like this. Okay, everything is mounted. Now we need to do the software side of it. Uh, I need to make some kind of program that uh, pulls uh, the status of the hard drive file uh, and makes a sound when it is accessed. Uh, I will use Python to do this and um, the source code to uh, this I will add at github I think I will add a link in the description where I put it and uh, a how to on how you do it yourself this way of doing it can also be used on the Intel NUC if you want to use the HD clicker on that or just want an external LED from some kind of emulator and not have the hard drive activity light uh, light up uh, when the hard drive is accessed. The hardware is ready. It is in the case. I've set up my fine CRT uh, speakers from the correct uh, area in time and uh, a very nice keyboard from the area. I think this can fool my brain. I think so. So it's time to enjoy it. The software I'm using for the emulation is uh, PCM and uh, underneath it I'm running Linux. If you're interested in seeing how the software is set up, I've set up Linux to be invisible. So if you're interested in that, give me a comment uh, and I can try to make a how-to about it. But it's time to enjoy it. So let's turn it on and uh, have a glass of beer and enjoy the Friday because it is Friday. It's not just December. So let's try some games first. Uh, I, I did one of the games I played at the, the family computer when I was a kid. Uh, Duke Nukem 2. It is a platform game which uh, later turned into a quite famous uh, uh, 3D shooter. Maybe the most famous 3D shooter. Duke Nukem 3D. The 
the sound from this HD clicker almost reminds me of the old Bigfoot, if uh, you ever have had one of those hard drives back in the day. I just need to remind myself how I played this. How was the controls? Okay, I got it. But you don't really want to see me play a game. I'm not a good gamer anyway, so let's quit. Ooh, high score. First place, great. Let's quit the game. Yes. But even though I'm not very into gaming, uh, one thing I'm very into is uh, the demo scene. And uh, the, this year, around 1998, uh, I found this demo. It's called Bomb State of Mind. Let's watch that together. I hope you have poured yourself a beer because I'm not speeding up the loadings anywhere uh, to show the proper experience. <laughs> Change nothing. Stay 
thanks for joining me on uh, December on my part of it uh, and enjoy all the DOS content on YouTube this month. It has been fun to visit uh, the PC around uh, late 90s like I did today uh, because in those years I was using uh, Amiga and not PC. So have a wonderful December and Friday and cheers.